<laughs> Welcome back. Carrie and Hayden join us from the DeYoung Family Zoo. You guys brought some Kodamondes, which I've never actually heard of, I guess. What, what are these creatures? Kodamondes are actually from Central and South America. There's a couple different subspecies of Kodamondes, and these are one of the rarest. This is the Mountain Cody. So we actually have Tuesday and Wednesday joining us today. These guys are seven <laughs> months old, and Kodamondes, as you can guess, are pretty related to raccoons with that oh, cool yeah, little that striped tail. tail. These guys are very active critters. They actually are awake during the day and at night, super foragers. Uh, they have a great sense of smell, and their noses are really neat. Their noses oh, yeah. can move in 60 degrees in any direction. So they're very flexible, little, almost like a pig snout. And they use that for rooting around and looking for something to eat. So they're omnivorous, and they'll pretty much eat anything. Today for breakfast, they're having bananas, which is one of their favorite things. And monkey chow. Yeah. Monkey they love biscuits. the monkey biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> no, these guys aren't are not vicious. I was very surprised. They're really sweet. You can pet them, and they're curious, but they're not. Yeah, they're very active. Oh, he found the food. Uh, anything with a smell. Yeah, she wants more monkey biscuits. <laughs> Uh, we have dryer sheets because they love smells and they'll rub oh, themselves okay. all over it. They'll rub each, uh, rub each other when they get a good smell, kind of bonding time. These guys are very good climbers, so they eat invertebrates, they'll eat uh, lizards, they'll eat fruits, vegetables. They're known uh, as banana cats in that they will sneak on vacationers' tables and steal their fruits down oh, in South funny. America. <laughs> so they're very friendly. They're kind of like little clowns, actually, how active they are. But great climbers, their tail is used for signaling, so the, okay. they'll go out in groups of 5 to 25. So they kind of live in a troop of family members there, and hunting and foraging together. Okay, and then you guys, what else do you have going on at the zoo right now? I know that people could come and see these guys and interact with them, but anything else you guys have going on? Um, we are getting through winter. We actually open the first Wednesday of April again. So we're oh, open wow. April through October every year. And this, hopefully the weather is going to straighten yeah. out soon, and we're going to be getting spring cleaning done. It's almost baby time, which is exciting. A lot of animals are born at the zoo in April and May. Oh, so that would be a really exciting time for people to come and check it all out. Yeah, we actually just had a little baby goat born this last weekend, and we have a little lamb in the house right now that was born during the polar vortex. So his name is, <laughs> is Polar. Oh, of course. And he's Snow White, of course. So. Uh, we, we've got a lot of critters that are up and coming for the spring, so it's going to be an exciting year at the zoo. Yeah, you guys will have to go check it out. Thanks again for coming in this morning. We'll be right back.